Jehan, hoping to come out of the gates strong. And that shot should leave no doubt as to where we are tonight. It's the Toyota Center here in downtown Houston, Texas. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, and thanks for joining us on this fine Thursday afternoon. Hello, everyone. With Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. And check it out. Some numbers for him. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. There is no question that Dallas's Luka Doncic has captured league-wide admiration. The Hall of Famer player and executive Jerry West said, we are watching genius, a superstar who will go down as the best player in Mavs franchise history. Considering Dirk Nowitzki was there for a long time, Kevin, the praise from Jerry doesn't get much higher or from a loftier perch. Indeed, something special, David. Thanks. Greg, tonight's game, like so many, could come down to the three-point shooting. There are debates as to whether that style alone can win you a championship. What do you think? You know, there will never be a substitute for balance, but I just think with the evolution of the skill that we see in our game, the coaches and players being so smart, you do want to keep the opponents guessing, but let's face it, the three-point shot is here to stay. It's really simple math. Three is more than two. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. And it's Brunson in at the point. And for Houston, Porter is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Wall. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's Bradley in at the two spot. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. for the basket starting off one for one with that shot the defense tried but Doncic gets through Luca able to put a smooth release on the shot despite the contact now here's Porter what a tremendous game he played against the Clippers Porzingis with the block inside Brunson good and how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Now here's Wall. A 26-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way establishing the attitude you want. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. And Kelly Olenek, from a basketball family, his father a successful coach, his mother a scorekeeper. He's grown up around the game. What a minute played so far here in the first. And Wall kicks to Porter. Bradley, no one around him. And it's off from three-point range. Well, coming into the league with immense potential, Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it, already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. And 
And it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic. Ownership told him, think of a 6'7 Steve Nash. Isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision where he can really pass it. And it turns out Doncic is all of that and more. Singus passes to Hardaway over Porter. That one off the back iron and out. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. It's good. Oh, you see Bradley's toughness, able to finish through the contact. The Mavericks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, he said Luka was big and mobile enough in the modern game, can guard multiple positions, has a skill set, a winning mentality, and those leadership qualities. Steve Nash sounding like a future GM. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. In the corner, Hardaway with it to the left wing. Pass to Persingas. He kicks it to Hardaway. Five on the clock. Brunson. Whoa, with a block. And the height wall possesses. It allows him to get up to these type of blocks. Shooters have to be aware of his reach. Nice open look, but it's no good. The Mavericks trailing. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Back to Hardaway. Outside, Brzingis kept alive. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? So it's the Rockets now. The Mavericks making the shot. All passes to Brant. Wood kicks to Porter. Off target with his three. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. And the dunk by Doncic. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Here's Wall after Luka Doncic's bucket. All with it, now guarded by Porzingis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Break their spirits are running sky high right now. Kev, it, it's always a great feeling to come out strong, but it is hard to maintain that consistency. Yeah, the agreed. teams that yeah, do, yeah. They, you know, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strengths. Why is consistency so hard? You know, because you're not playing against yourself. And we're human, and Kevin, as great as you are as a broadcaster, you probably have had some days where you haven't felt, didn't feel as good as you did other days. And that's no different for a guy competing at this level. My friend, that's every day. Every day you don't <laughs> feel good about it. <laughs> but you grind, right? You just try that's to keep right. grinding. You got to do it. Uh, the number one overall pick in 2010, I mean, Wall became a bona fide star. He plays with an edge and energy. And so Wall nails both of them. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Runs in the pass to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. It has the vertical needed to dunk it. Doncic showing off the power and flair that he possesses. Houston's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Wall against Brunson. Wall attacking. Porzingis with the block. Pass break, Dallas. Donchich leading the charge. That one goes. Count it. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, the crowd didn't seem to phase them at all. They knew what their game plan was and followed it accordingly. Rockets trail by four. 
now Walt. Right now, checking his stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. The Rockets with another miss. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Porzingis can't hit. The Rockets shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. The wide open look here for Wood. The Rockets again can't hit. Dallas leading by four. Here's Brunson, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Here is Porter following the score by Dallas. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Kevin Porter Jr., all the issues you'd expect from a rookie, Greg. Unforced errors, a few too many fouls and turnovers. But as you and I were talking, and as the coaches told us, the upside is huge. I tell you, Kev, his first step with the ball in his hands is incredible. Can burst by defenders like they're waiting at a bus stop. Once he matures, he is going to be a handful to deal with. First one falls for him. And Porter drops them both. Mavericks leading by four. Here's Doncic coming off a solid outing against Cleveland. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. And the Mavericks making a change here. Powell's checked in. Two points. That one goes. Look, you got to respect Wall's game. He's remarkable at driving inside, even when the D is draped all over him. And the pass to Kleba. Powell with it. Pass to Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. And Doncic, here we go. And he gets the bucket. Doncic has got 11 points. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. And here's Porter. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Here's Olenek. Lays it up and banks it in. Five points in the game. Oh, I love that aggressiveness from Olenek. I mean, he can create his own offense. I mean, we all know that, but that time with a little cleanup work. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 11. Hardaway with a wide open look. Offensive rebound. Here's Kleba, and the layup is good. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. Four-point game. Last time they met was in Dallas where they beat the Mavericks. Yeah, and they really squeaked out a close one in that last matchup. Came down to just a few turnovers that gave them the margin of victory. Now here's Porter. Out of bounds. It'll be Mavericks ball. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You take a look at the 76ers. They're moving on up. Fourth spot in the rankings this time around. And when you look at the Mavericks, they've shown their capabilities, but it's been in flashes. If they want to move up this list, it may take greater focus, greater commitment. Here's Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Runs in the pass to Kleba. Just five to shoot. Powell trying to free himself up. Kleba, no good. 
last game for the Mavericks, they picked up the W against the Cavaliers. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. But you also got to give credit to the offense, too. I mean, they exploited every hole they saw in the defense. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Mavericks have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. One falls for Brunson. Greg, you showed toughness and grit when you played. You've got to succeed in this league with those things at the forefront, right? Being tough, being gritty. And there are several players uh, whose style you admire that play like. I mean, no doubt about it. it, it you have the superstars, the, the Kawhis, the LeBrons, who continue to do it. They, they can intimidate you physically, uh, but they also provide tremendous skill set. Uh, but two other guys, Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, they're, they're also oh, guys yes. that exemplify that toughness. Uh, you know, two guys, when you look at those two, a lot of people didn't project them to be what they've become. And it's impressive to watch them take the floor night in and night out. And, and already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back move. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the rejection by Coley Stein. Reddick is in the corner. Here's Powell. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. They are just killing them on the interior. Gordon with it. Stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. With some art, and it's denied. There's an intensity to Richardson's defense. He puts full effort into it. Loves being that thorn in your side. Now, here's Richardson. Talking about that win against the Cavaliers, he was definitely a major factor as well. And he gets it to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Rockets trail by 10. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Kicks it to McLemore. Passes to House. Shot clock at five. Gordon for three. He can't hit that time. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. He's not using his head this quarter. He's got to get back to finding high percent of shots. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, they've got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. The Rockets shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Gordon against Reddick. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. While we've got a moment here, the top free throw shooters in the league. And you look at Augustine, fourth in the league, and as consistent as they come at the free throw line. And you simply got to avoid sending him to the line. Absolutely no one has better form from the strike than he does. A free throw good from Eric Gordon. Well, I think it's Gordon's diverse skill set that makes him a, a, a great supporting player. He can fill any gaps in your game on offense or defense. Trey Burks checked in for Dallas. All free throws good from Eric Gordon. Dallas with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Burke, the pass to Reddick. Back to Burke. Outside, Reddick. 
Richardson kicks to Powell. And Burke has it in the corner. Another three for Dallas. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Timeout time time called the Rockets. Yeah, and a five-star recruit Sorry. coming out of high school. Powell had an excellent college career, yet he fell to the second round of the draft. Didn't even hear his name called as he was selected during a commercial break. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. We take a look at the Mavericks right there in fifth position, middle of the pack in the conference. And, of course, the Rockets, they're in the sixth position. And, and you know, Houston, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet. They've shown they can play with any team in the league. Now they need to do it every night, not just some nights. And G.A., even when he did arrive to the NBA, it took Powell a while to latch on. You know, traded a couple times in his first year. He was assigned and recalled 10 times in about a month with Boston's D-League affiliate. Finally found a home in Dallas. Everything turned around from that point forward. And it's the Mavericks with the ball after the Rockets pick up three. In the corner, it's Richardson. Here's the three. That one falls coming off Burke's feet. Richardson's got five points so far. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. There's a minute left in the first quarter. To the middle, here's Olenek, and the rejection by Cauley Stein. Capable of being a defensive anchor. Keith Cauley Stein is positioning himself to swat shots. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far going for the juggler right off the bat i mean jumping out to an impressive early lead now here is augustine pass to Olenek. the layup missed they've been sensational on the backboard to start this game burke can't get it to go i don't think the d does good enough here but something causes the miss Now, here's McLemore, Richardson covering. McLemore dishes to Olenek. Here's Augustine. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. From deep, McLemore knocks down the three ball. That's why McLemore is out there. The way he opens up the floor with this outside shooting is huge for this team. Here's Burke, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen a competent-looking Mavericks team out there. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. Mavericks leading by 13 on the floor for Dallas. Cauley Stein is out there with Porzingis. Then there's Richardson. Then there's J.J. Redick. And it's Burke in at the one. Now here's Porzingis. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. Here's Richardson. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's McLemore. And that comes off the assist by Exum. McLemore's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Rockets. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. And there's the pass to Cauley Stein. Now here's Burke. To the paint. Here's Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. 
And what a luxury to run pick and rolls with Porzingis. He can roll to the basket or pop out for that jump shot. Rockets trail by 13. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. The drive by Gordon. Outside house. It's rebounded by Dallas. Porzingis has got four rebounds in this game. Dallas shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. It's the difficult fadeaway jumper. And the Mavericks lead by 15. Offensively, there's few things on the court Porzingis can't do. He can use his length, strength, or both. Now here's McLemore. Five points in the game. Pass to Gordon. There's the triple. They get the rebound. And the basket by Olenek. A uh, gifted score around the rim. Olenek can finish over either shoulder, and, and he's got great touch. Mavericks leading by 13. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Passes it to Persingas. Over Axum. And no good. Trying to use the glass. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Przingis. You know, Greg, when you were in New York, you were on a super team of sorts. Compare that to the super teams they're forming now in the NBA. Oh, we've always had super teams. And this misnomer that this is something that's just come about with this era is to me uh, absurd uh, you've always had it whether the difference nowadays is I think the players have more say in where they go uh, and they can orchestrate how a team is constructed but it's always existed and the reality is this you become a super team when you win a lot sure and and that's what really dictates how super your team is catching up on the changes for Houston Christian Woods check in for a Linux Porter comes in for Ben McLemore and it's John Wall in for Gordon then for the Mavericks, Maxi Kleba comes in for Cauley Stein. And Luka Doncic subbed in for J.J. Reddick. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. The Mavericks have their young star tandem in Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. KP said we can be a pretty deadly duo. It's only going to be a matter of time. Once we get that two-man game going, it's going to be hard to stop. Guys, it's already hard to stop. Back to you. A team on the rise, David. Thank you so much. Here's Burke. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Pass to Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around, and Doncic throws it down. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. Rockets trail by 11. Now Wolf. He's got six. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. Well, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Now, here's Doncic. Defense right on him. The pass to Kleba. And here's Porzingis. Here's Kleba. No good with the triple. And here's Exum. Dishes at the wall. Wall draws the double. Shot clock at six. Porter in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Mavericks leading by nine. Doncic feeling it out. Kicks it out to Richardson. Singus passes to Richardson. The Rockets pull it in. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. Uh, this is why you can't leave guys open around wall. He'll notice it and exploit it. 
and it's Burke with the ball for the Mavericks. At one point, they led by 16. Doncic right side. Dallas again missing. And here are the Rockets now. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. No one near wall as he lets it go. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Dallas has gone 0 of 2 from deep here in the second. Here's Burke. Sinks the three-pointer. Burke's got six. Yeah, high IQ basketball from Richardson. Values the easy assist over a risky shot. Rockets trail by 10. Wall passes to Porter. Takes the three, and it's Wall. That time the assist by Porter. Burke with it. Six points for him. Down low. Here's Kleba. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. The Mavericks shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The Rockets making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Jalen Brunson comes in for Burke. Here is Wall. He's got 11. Porter in the corner. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got his fifth assist in this one. Dallas leading by seven. Now here's Brunson. A 14-point game for him in the win against Cleveland. And Doncic gets it to go. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Here's Bradley. It's rebounded by Doncic. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. It's stolen by Bradley. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Here is House. Kleba defending. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And let's see the stat sheet here on John Wall. He's been dominant over the last month, putting up about 22 points per six assists and two rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. And it's blocked by Bradley. Such a long wingspan. And that helps Bradley make up for his lack of height. He's a disruptive defensive presence. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. The Rockets making the shot. But they recover it. Kleba kicks to Porzingis. Pass to Doncic. Six on the shot clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hardaway for three. Here's Kleba. And finally they hit one. Kleba's got nine. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, and that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Now here's Wall. He's got 11. That's good. He's five for nine. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Now, Doncic, 15 points in the game. He kicks it to Hardaway. Sinks the triple. He's got five. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Your son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. 
you know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. Here's Brunson following the score by Houston. Hardaway kicks to Brunson. That's tipped. They retain possession. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Augustine looking around. The dish to Porter. The shot comes out, so the Mavericks will take it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. They host the Clippers after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Dallas again missing. Setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. And he's good on the three ball. McLemore has got five points now this quarter. That's the kind of player McLemore is. He is always thinking of shooting as soon as he gets the ball off the pass. And Christian Wood, undrafted in 2015 out of UNLV. Well, wait a minute, that's your alma mater. <laughs> hey, talk about his game. What do you like about Christian Wood's game? Well, first I'll start with he went to UNLV. Uh, he's long, he's lean. He, I think he really fits the modern NBA as a small ball center. Able to hold his own on the glass and space the floor. And here's Porter after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Kicks it out to Bradley. Here's McLemore. Eight points for him. Augustine no luck. We've got 155 left in the first half of the game. And here is Doncic. He's got 18. Augustine with the steal. Left side, Bradley. Quick shot there, and it's off target. His offense has been non-existent tonight. This is really hurting him. Brunson kicks to Doncic. Here's Powell. And the dunk by Powell. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love it. Now they're shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Kelly Olenek's checked in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for Avery Bradley. Here's Gordon. Stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. Passes it to Wood. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Wood's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And the Mavericks with some changes. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And JJ Redick is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They lead by 11. It's Redick on the wing. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one's on Eric Gordon. 
I mean, I, I can't blame you. It's hard to stay down on that pump fake because Reddick looks to shoot often. He gets guys to jump. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. An 85% shooter there, and they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. The free throw drops for Reddick. Well, look, an outstanding role player. Reddick is an incredible sniper who feels comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. And both free throws good for Reddick. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Gordon with it. His last outing, he had eight points and stolen by Reddick. On Jedge passes to Carly Stein. Oh man, such a quick and explosive leap. Carly Stein throws it down with ease. Rockets trail by 15. Now here is Augustine. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That is his first foul of the game. Mavericks on D. From D, McLemore. Reddick with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Hardaway for three. Rebound by Owinick. owinick has got seven rebounds in the game. Acklemore, the pass to Gordon. And he drops it in from the low post. Gordon's got six. He is showing how effective he can be. It's crucial that Gordon plays with confidence close to the buck. Now, Doncic, 18 points for him. Reddick for three, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Dallas, looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We'll take a quick break, and then back to the action here. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, got Ernie it. Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He had 18 points, four rebounds, and five assists. Now that the unicorn is healthy, Shaq, we're getting a better idea about the full potential of his game. Yeah, he went from no playmakers in New York to Doncic in Dallas. Listen, Porzingis has been set up to succeed now. Is that a unicorn? Yeah. I've never heard of him. No. Well, he's much more competitive on the glass, too. He's added some strength in that, those years off of uh, not playing. Um, it's going to be better suited for the long run for the... How does, how does it <laughs> hey, does yeah. it hurt when I hit your horn like this? Oh, it's, it's not a horn. It's a unicorn. Okay, but they got a horn on that yeah, yeah. It's not a horn. It's a eunuch horn. Get it? A unicorn, a eunuch horn. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I swear to you. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And you know, that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Olenek is out there with Christian Wood. 
Then there's Avery Bradley. And it's Wall. And it's Porter. And at the three slot. That's the five for Houston right now. Doncic, no good. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. To the inside. Here's Olinick. And it's rebounded by Dallas. Persingas has got six rebounds in the game. Doncic dishes to Hardaway. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Hardaway has got the first points of the second half up on the board for Dallas. Here's Wall. And that one, good. Wall's got 15 points. And the IQ of Wall is impressive. And when you mix it with the speed, it's just a nightmare to handle in the screen of Wall. Doncic against Bradley. Pass to Brunson. Back to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. The three from Porzingis. And the three ball is good. He has seven. I, I don't think we'll ever see another seven foot three player who can drain the three like Porzingis. He, he takes the idea of that inside outside threat to a whole nother level. Here's Wall. 15 points in the game. To the left side wing. Olenek has the open look. Porzingis with the rebound. Well, he makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Outside Hardaway. The pass to Doncic. Porzingis with the ball. Here's Kleba. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The Mavericks have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. one falls for Kleba. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. Trailing by 19. He dishes it to Porter. Over Hardaway. It's rebounded by Doncic. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Just to Persingas. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got assist number eight here in this one already. The Rockets have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Wall passes to Bradley. That one's off, still out of sync. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. On the wing, Doncic. Pass to Kleba. All sorts of time. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Their poise has been tremendous. I mean, excellent at both ends. Has them increasing this lead. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Daniel House has checked in for Christian Wood. And Dallas with a change here, too. Josh Richardson's checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Hey guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Timeout called. The Rockets 
And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. Mavericks making a switch here. Burks has checked in. And let's see the leading three-point teams in the NBA. The Mavericks fourth. No doubt. They have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. It's Porter outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. Porter's got 14 points for the game. Well, it was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. I see him, I see him. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And so it's Dallas with it. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Kleba, no good. Rockets trail by 20. Left side, Bradley. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Trey Burke. Well, the ability to draw contact and get to the line is a great tool for any player to have, but it's really a bonus for perimeter players like Bradley. It's his first trip to the line. And he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. That free throw good from Bradley. And Avery Bradley still a solid player for this team you know maybe not in his prime but still defensively he's a difference maker yeah GA I mean injuries have slowed Bradley down over the years but he still has some great footwork he's physical on defense he's undersized but he can match up with either guard spot he's perfect from the line this time I mean in that 6-3 Bradley is a plus defender thanks to his quickness and tenacity Mavericks leading by 18 Donchich outside. Kleba kicks to Burke. Another three for Dallas. Facilitating from the inside. I mean, that can be a valuable asset from any offense. Wall looking for an opening. Yes, that goes in. Wall's got 17 now. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Bradley against Donchich. Inside, here's Burke, got a piece of it. Back to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Just five on the clock. The wide open look here for Perzingis. Another three for Dallas. Such assertiveness. This is why Porzingis is a go-to option on offense. Never afraid to take a big shot. Wall against Kleba. That's tipped on the wing, Porter. Outside, Wall. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Dallas leading by 19 points. Donchich outside, pass to Kleba. Dallas moving it around. It's rebounded by Houston. House has got four rebounds now tonight. Down low. Here's Porter. It's hauled in by Richardson. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. And he gets it to go Hit. as they call the foul. He's good. on his way to the line for one more. Hit. How one about shot. this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half. And, and now he's the man for them. For Dallas, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. The Rockets making a switch here. Axum's checked in. Yeah, yeah. 
that free throw good from Porzingis. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Now here's Wall. 20 points for him. And Doncic, here we go. Jacks up a three. The offensive rebound. Olenek can't hit. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Picked off in midair. All with it. And it's Richardson picking him up. And stolen by Richardson. And Doncic with a clear path to the hoop. And Doncic throws it down. What a steal by Richardson. Tough to protect the ball against hands that fast. Houston's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Porter passes to House. The Rockets again can't hit. Dallas has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. And the dunk by Doncic. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. And for Houston, they're shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Here's Wall. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Man, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Dallas calls timeout. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Catching up on the changes for Houston. McLemore has come in for Kevin Porter. And Eric Gordon subbed in for John Wall. But they get it back. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Reddick's got eight points. Yeah, again, just a lackluster transition defense. And so it's Houston with it. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Gordon kicks to Exum. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Dallas. Right side, Reddick. In the corner, Powell with it. From beyond the arc, it's not going to go for him. Rockets shooting around 40% from the floor here. Here's McLemore. The Rockets again can't hit. Dallas with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Houston making some changes. Justin Patton comes in for Olenek. And D.J. Augustine subbed in for Dante Exum. Now the pass to Powell over House. The rebound by Patton. Houston's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Oh, and that's the big-time strength of McLemore. If you were going to foul this guy, you can't give him any daylight to get the shot off, too. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. free throw good for McLemore. Ah, uh, the former Jayhawk McLemore, a gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. Dallas has gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. To the paint, here's Colin Stein, and Colley Stein throws it down. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. Yeah, he's just not giving the ball up. He's passing with the purpose, and he's leading the scores. And it's the Rockets with the ball. The Mavericks making the shot. The 10-footer. That shot, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard 
and the backboard thus far. And they double up Doncic to the middle. Wants to get it to Powell and does. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Powell's got nine points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. Here's Gordon. The Mavericks making the shot. Yep, it counts. McLemore's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, I love watching Gordon go to work on the pick and roll. I mean, he's a high IQ player who knows how to pass off the screen. Now here's Reddick. He's got eight. Powell for three. It's rebounded by McLemore. McLemore's got four rebounds in this game. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Wood, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Mavericks also with a sub. Brunson's checked in. Augustine with it. Pass to McLemore. Now here's Gordon. And he banks in the layup. He's got eight. Look, it's always awesome to see Gordon take it to the rim. Adding more wrinkles to his offensive game. Sick. Now Richardson. Seven points in the game. Inside. How? It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And the dunk by Powell. A well-rounded talent. In addition to scoring, Richardson is also skilled addition to rock. Houston's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Reddick against Gordon. Passes it to Patton. Lays it up off the glass. Patton's got his first two points. You got to do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Oh, they must ramp up the effort level, the intensity level. They're making it too easy for him out there. Now here's Brunson. He's got six. Reddick with the bucket. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Here's Gordon. Pass to Patton. Kicks it to McLemore. Wing shot on the way. Offensive rebound. Here's Wood. Count it. Wood's got six. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And here's Brunson. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. The shot by Reddick, no good. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. McLemore with the ball. He's got 13. Here's Gordon. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He's been cold and it's been hurting him. D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. This is his first free throw of the game. And that one falls for Cauley Stein. A quality role player. Kali Stein offers energy, length, and a team-first attitude his squad appreciates. Wilson, he's checked in for Justin Patton. And Dallas with a change here, too. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Josh Richardson. Kali Stein hits them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Houston's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. There's the pass to McLemore. The Mavericks pull it in. Cauley Stein's got six rebounds here tonight. Hardaway passes to Cauley Stein. 
Reddick surveying the D. Shoots from the right block. In deep. Cauley Stein drops it in. And that's now eight points for Willie Cauley Stein. Staying locked in. That's what helps Cauley Stein finish off these challenging buckets over the defense. Gordon from down in the low post. It goes. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And so it's Dallas rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up a quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We've got more in store for you right after this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Now here is Augustine on the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Trey Burke is out there with J.J. Redick. Then it's Willie Cauley-Stein. And it's Melly in at the four. Wilson kicks to Brown. Pass to Augustine. Chris, you had some great battles with those guys in the 2020 Hall of Fame class, like Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. I know you're going to join them in Springfield in the Hall of Fame soon as well. Well, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. It was an honor playing against these guys. You know, when you think about Kobe and the Mamba mentality, as a friend, you just missed that competitive spirit, and it was an honor to call him an opponent and a friend. Tim Duncan, you, know, you had to be prepared when you went up against him and his great Spurs team. And same with Kevin Garnett, just energy and passion, and one of my favorite players of all time. So uh, it was an honor playing against them and, and an honor to call them friends. Exum, he's checked in for McLemore. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's Finney Smith. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. The Rockets shooting about 42% so far. Now here is Augustine. Burke covering. Count the basket. Here's Burke. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Melly passes to Reddick. Here's Bay. That shot no good. Some solid defense from Brown. And here are the Rockets now. Now Exum. Chris, you played for five different teams in your career and a number of different coaches. As you look back, what percentage of great coaching is X's and O's? And what percentage is just inspiring your players and getting them motivated? X's and O's are probably the most important. Uh, you need a coach that can adapt his system to the players on his team, to the teams that are coming up, that can adjust in coaching style. And so I definitely think uh, as far as that, the coaching, the uh, skill set, and the play calling is definitely uh, important. And I think motivation has a part to play as well. That free throw good from Brown. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Patton, he's checked in for Houston. Wall comes in for D.J. Augustine. And Brown drops them both. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Passes it to Persingas. Now, here's Kleba. 
pass to Brunson. Now for Zingas. The rebound by Patton. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Wall, and there it is for him. Wall's got 11 points here in just the second half. Wall uses his blinding speed in the open floor. He's fantastic at finishing in these situations. The pass to Persingas. Back to Brunson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep your offense balanced. Rockets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Let's it fly from 18. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Now, here's Kleba. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Saturday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clipper. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. That one falls for Brunson. And with the move league-wide for greater representation, some are calling for more diversity in front offices. Uh, Chris, some say progress isn't coming fast enough. What do you think? I think progress uh, hasn't happened fast enough either. Put me on that list. Let me sign that petition. Uh, because even in the coaching ranks, few black head coaches this season, you know, teams need to hire the best candidate. No one's saying anything different than that. But the fact of the matter is, they're not interviewing some of the best candidates. That's all. Let some of the best candidates in the door, and they should be hired. Now, here's Porter. Rosingas with the steal. And Doncic, here we go. Creative at finding ways to just cut inside there. Doncic, a guy you must keep your eyes on. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Outside, Porter. Back to Wall. From 17 feet out, it's rebounded by Dallas. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Misses off the right iron. Right side Hardaway. And the dunk by Doncic. And how about the balance of Doncic on that possession? Amazing at just absorbing the contact and still with the strength to finish. Houston making a switch here. House is checked in. Doncic, no good on the free throw. Chris, we've seen in the three-point contest, they've added a pair of deep shots worth extra points. You know, if the league decided for the All-Star game to test out a four-point line, what would you think of that? I'm not sure about the four-point line yet. I think uh, we'll always have time for that, but I don't think it's a need to rush for that. I think that until everyone can shoot like Curry or most guys can shoot like that, let's just not change it because one or two guys can uh, when we look at offensive efficiency and I know the statistics are still a lot of ways that this game can be improved with the line uh, where it is. I love the NBA welcoming innovation, but this is something that I think we're jumping ahead of the times. For Houston, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Pass to House, but three. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Doncic. 
Right side, Berzingis. Back to Brunson. The three. Dallas, no good that time either. And Maxi Kleba is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Christian Woods checked in for the Rockets. The Rockets have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Wall, and the shot is good. Wall's got four points now in the quarter. Some nights, Wall just goes on a tear. I mean, no matter what you throw at him, he finds a way to adjust and makes plays. Mavericks leading by 20. Anjic passes to Persingas. Dallas moving the ball around. And that's a foul called on Porzingis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Ah, uh, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. Wall against Brunson. And Wall. Here we go now. Drops in the layup for two. Wall's got 15 points here in the second half. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Back to Brunson. It's tipped. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. Rockets on defense. They trail by 18. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And then Porter with the jam. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. throw good Porter Dallas calls timeout uh, things not going their way and he wants to just try to talk this one over well the defensive intensity has to pick up and I'm sure coach is going to let them know that and now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game Jalen Brunson and the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. And here's Wall following Perzingis' three. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Passes to Kleba. And here is Doncic. Back to Kleba. Five to shoot. Doncic finds Hardaway. That one good for two. Nine points for Tim Hardaway. And that's why you don't let him get position D in the post. Not just too big of a threat down there. I mean, he has a number of go-to moves at his disposal. Wall passes to Bradley. Here's Wood. Olenek dishes the wall. Stolen by Brunson. Pass break, Dallas. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And his wall outside. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. And it's all about the quickness that Wall possesses that makes him so hard for defenses to contain. He's solid at drawing contact.
and he's good on the first of three. And he sinks the second. Last one's off, and they'll settle for two points. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. Pass to Persingas. The tray. They grab their own miss. Fires the three. Drills it from outside. Doncic has got seven points for the quarter. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wall plays big down low. His sheer determination picks up fouls in the paint. And he makes the first. He's off on the second. Mavericks leading by 22. Donchich with it. To the wing right side. Brunson with a clean look. Good. And the assist goes to Donchich. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up any game. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Outside wall over Brunson. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Dallas has gone three and five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. And they double up Doncic. The pass to Brunson. And here is Hardaway. Back to Brunson. Beyond the arc. No good on that one. Ice D from Porter. The Rocket shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Oh, and Bradley possesses ridiculous athleticism. He really gets up and jams it in with the opportunity is right. Mavericks leading by 21. Donchich outside. And there's the foul. It'll go on Christian Wood. That's his third foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Here's Finney Smith. To the inside, Burke over to the wing. Pass to Melly. Dallas moving the ball around. No good from Finney Smith. Rockets trail by 21. Tipped away and stolen by Burke. Here's Finney Smith. Second shot opportunity. Burke can't get it to go. And now the fast break Exum with the ball. And good. Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. Uh, I like to see the ball moving in transition like that. I mean, the teammates out in front, get them to rock. Burke looking over the floor. 
And there's a minute 45 left in the game. Good on the bucket. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Houston's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Augustine passes to Exxon. Here's Patton. He can't get it to go. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the Mavericks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Luka Doncic. His passes were crisp tonight. Pinpoint. So many easy buckets came off his assist. The first free throw is good. Good on both. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Patton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, the defender all over him. And he knocks down the first one. And so he's able to get one of two. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock to the paint. The layup off target. And it's the Rockets with the ball. Exxon passes to Augustine. Passes it to Patton. And the layup falls. Oh, oh, look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Hey, Luca, another win for you, but the games keep coming. So what's the most important thing for this team to establish? I mean, compete, you know, the way we compete today from the start till the end, uh, the game is never over, and just compete. I think it's important that you compete. Congrats on the win, man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.